Hello, hello, Wojciech Lipsiński here. Today about overlapping IP address ranges. Common situation is where there is a network with overlapping IP address But the problem starts when there must be a communication between this network. This often happens when people use default IP range when they create networks. In this video, I will tell you how you can deal with this inconvenience. I will tell you about one solution, but there is many solutions. Keep in mind that the solution you choose depends on how your apps communicate with each other. Because full two-way connectivity between applications is required in certain situations. In other situations, you might only need one-way connectivity. This is important aspect because it's affect how you can deal with this problem. Uh, in general, Connecting two or more overlapping networks is not easy, is difficult. It often involves additional costs, increased complexity and involves new problems. First, if it's possible, you should consider change CIDR range in one of the networks. Of course, if it's possible, because it's cheaper, easier and safer in the long run. However, sometimes it's difficult to implement. In this case, another solution can be considered. You can use, for example, NAT Gateway. This method has also additional advantages. You can hide subnet using NAT Gateway. Private NAT Gateway you can use when you connect from private VPC to other private network. Instead of using an elastic IP address and an internet gateway, private NAT Gateway uses the private IP address that's allocated from within your network as the address that the VPC is hidden behind. This is useful in environment when you want to connect from a VPC to your on-premise networks or other VPCs, but you don't want to connect directly to resources in the VPC. I added one extra subnet outside of the range which is problematic. The private NAT gateway will be located in this new subnet. The NAT gateway will use an IP address from that subnet to translate IP address from the backend subnet. You also need to configure a routing table for proper communication. The network behind the new subnet should only communicate with the new subnet. The network that not be hidden behind the NAT gateway and the newly added subnet should communicate with the transit gateway. Of course, the transit gateway also should know their IP address ranges. You can also create another NAT gateway. Thanks to this, you get communication in the other direction. Okay, that's all in theory. Now, let's go to practice and let's build the solution. Okay, let's go to VPC. This can be my first network with default CIDR range, VPC01. Default CIDR range. Now, let's create another VPC, VPC02 with the same CIDR range. As you can see, now I have two networks with the same CIDR range. Ok, let's go to subnet. Let's change the name. Main01. Now I create new subnet in my new VPC with the same CRDR range. Let's choose my second VPC, add name main02 and the same CRDR block. So now I have two VPC, two subnets with the same CRDR range. Let's create some EC2. Choose the name, for example, test server 01. I don't need key. Network setting. I want to create this instance in my first network, BPC01 and subnet main01. Ok, now I create second instance, test server 02. Also, I don't need keys. But now I create this instance in my second VPC, VPC02 and in subnet main02. 
the laundry instance. So, I want to connect from test server 01 to test server 02. Let's check the configuration. Now, let's go to VPC. Let's go to VPC 01. Now we can check resource map. With resource map you can better understand the architecture of your VPC. Now I want to edit CIDR. In this network I want to add something. And the same for VPC02. But CIDR must be different. Now I can create new subnet, new subnet for my private NAT gateway. NAT subnet 01. And in my second VPC I create new subnet, NAT subnet 02. As you can see I have two VPC and four subnets. Now I create NAT gateway, NAT01 in subnet, NAT subnet01, you need change from public to private. And that's all, you can create NAT gateway. Now let's go to EC2. Load balancer. Network load balancer. Let's add name, for example, load balancer 01. Of course, internal. And I create this load balancer in VPC 02. And in subnet, not subnet 02. Now I need to create listeners and routing. Now I need to create new target group. Yeah, instance. Let's add some name. Server 02. VPC 02. Eh, can be port 80. And there can be underscore in the name. Okay, no problem. Let's fix that. So, server 02. Now let's choose our instance from VPC02. As I mentioned earlier, I want to connect from test server 01 to test server 02. So let's choose test server 02. Create target group. I close previous step. So let's create one more time load balancer. Create load balancer. Network load balancer. Create. Let's add some name. Load balancer 02. Internal, of course. VPC 02. Of course, not subnet 02. Now let's add target group. Server 02. Port 80. And I don't need to add more listener. Just my one instance. So let's create load balancer. Of course, this time also there can't be underscore in the name. Let's fix this quickly and create load balancer. We can view our load balancer. Yeah, awesome. Now we can go again to VPC. I create new transit gateway. and transit gateway attachment. NAT01, transit gateway ID, I have only one, type VPC, VPC ID, I choose my first VPC, I don't need this, no, no mine01, I want my NAT subnet01, transit gateway, 
need to connect only with NAT subnet. Now let's create another attachment for second subnet, NAT02, no, transit gateway, attachment type also VPC, VPC ID now VPC02, and of course my NAT subnet 02. Let's create transit gateway attachment. Now let's go to routing table. As you can see, I don't have any subnet associations. First, let's change name for my main subnet, main01. And this can be for my second subnet, main02. Main01. Now I edit subnet association and I add my first subnet, main01, only main01. Yep. As you can see, now I have one subnet associated. Now I can edit routes and choose my NAT gateway. If you don't know where to go, go to my private NAT gateway. Okay, now let's go to my second road table, main02, let's add new subnet, I add of course main02, yeah. now I can create new road table, now I can create road table for my NAT gateway subnet, let's add name, NAT01 road table, VPC01, and create road table. Not 0 to road table, VPC 0 to. You can associate this table with not subnet 0 to. Save association. And I also need to edit not 0 1 road table. Edit subnet associations, choose net subnet 0 1. And edit routes, add new route. If you don't know where to go, go to transit gateway. Save. Yep. Here I don't need this, but I can also add the same. Okay, now let's go to EC2. And we need change security group. Go to security. Security group and edit inbound rules. Need to allow connection from instance one, port 80. And I allow connection from subnet NAT gateway 01. I need to allow for connection from my NAT gateway because my subnet main 01 is hidden behind NAT gateway. Save rules. So I need to allow for connection from NAT gateway to instance 02. And let's test this connection. For test, can use run reachability analyzer. Okay. So I want to connect from my first instance. Test server 01. This is my source, yeah. And I set destination port 80. Destination. Let's try to connect to load balancer. This is address from my private load balancer. So, let's create an analyze path. Refresh. 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 Oh, perfect. Success. Reachable. Okay, let's check this. Here we can see the entire path from instance 1 through the security groups. Road table main 01 through the private night gateway through road table not 01 road table. Here we go to transit gateway through the load balancer. 
road table from second subnet, not zero to road table, security groups, and we are in the second instance. Test server zero two. Perfect. This is Elastic Network Interface. It's attached to second instance. Okay, we can check this. As you can see, test server 02. Now you know that you can connect from one network to another, even if they have the same IP address ranges. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Two-way communi... Communicity? Connectivity.